My experience though is this, that Jesus knew exactly what he was saying when he said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. We keep trying to get our hearts right. And my suggestion is that in the management or stewardship of our finances, maybe what we can do is say, where is it that I can put my money and my time and then see whether or not our hearts will follow. My own experience has been that stewardship of money and time is one of the most reliable ways to deepen and enrich our spiritual life. Because our hearts really do go where our treasure is. Our hearts really do where, go where our time is give you just kind of a simple example of that. Anybody ever put money in an office pool for football? <laughs> <laughs> so, are you a little bit more engaged in that football game? A little more interested in the outcome? That's all it is. That's all it is. It's as simple as that. We put our money in something, and all of a sudden, our hearts go there. We become more interested. We become more engaged. We become more involved. And we experience what Christ really promises us will lead to abundant life, which is transformation. We become different people. Different people with different priorities, and therefore, different monthly and annual spending plans, which of course are based in reality. After we check it out, then we have the opportunity to start the cycle all over again. Who am I as a financial being? Who am I as a financial being? My hope and my prayer for you, for myself, for those of us who are called to be disciples of Christ, who are called to be people who are engaged in the holy and sacred audacious mission of proclaiming God's love, is that when we ask the question, who am I as a financial being, we are able to say, more and more each day, I am a person who has learned to pay attention, to look at the small moments of life, and I am more and more that person who is able to live life without worry and without anxiety. Living today, day by day, seeking to be all that I can be, and the service of Christ. In the end, stewardship really isn't that complicated. It's really just about trying to pay attention and trying to be true who God calls us to be, true to who God calls us to be. Please be assured that it's a privilege and an honor to speak to you today. It's also a privilege and an honor to pray with you as you pray with me so that we may be more and more the people God calls us to be. I think I may not have left any time for questions and answers, but uh, if anybody's got a burning question. Yes, you, my wife has a burning I question. Agree. I have to answer this one. <laughs> Uh, well, that's, thank you for clarifying that. That would be it could be burdensome and could lead to us deciding not to do it at all. Uh, I think it can be done for a period of time. If you've never done it, uh, you might cho choose to do it for six months. 
Okay, where you uh, keep up with every thing you spend every day for six months. And that will give you an idea then of where you are relative to your budget. By that time, you will pretty much be able to tell whether your ideas about your budget are really something that you're able to keep up with. Some people can do it for as little as three months, particularly if you used to do it, you just don't do it anymore. So, so no, it's not something you need to do every month. Unless, of course, you are dealing with um, uh, compulsive issues. <laughs> <laughs> Then obviously it's something you can do every day. Any other questions? Well, thank you very much. It's been a privilege to be with you. And I'll see you in worship.